Hey guys, it's phase one. In this video, we're going to go over the upcoming healing mechanic and why it's going to be one of the most impactful features this year in Star Citizen. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of Star Citizen content. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on future videos. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So if you have any questions or if you just like to hang out, make sure to leave me a follow there as well. All my links are down below. Just to let you know, we're still doing a giveaway for the new Tumblr tank. So if you'd like to participate, follow the link down below for more details. And without any further ado, let's get started. A large portion of the Star Citizen player base has been looking forward to the medical gameplay and has been wondering how it will work. Recently, we had a huge info dump on how the medical gameplay will work as well as insight on how it will impact aspects of the game. This one feature expected in Star Citizen Alpha 3.15 could potentially be the most impactful feature this year so far. In Star Citizen 3.15, injuries will be added as the next iteration of the player active system. The player character's limb has individual pools of health in addition to the global health pool of the players. When your limb takes damage, health points are removed from the limb and the same amount of health points is removed from the global health pool. This is similar to the player health mechanic in Escape from Tarkov. A player only dies when a player's global health is reduced to zero. In the future, with this next iteration, limbs will have statuses such as injuries. Each limb will have an attribute dubbed as body limb wear. If a player continuously receives damage to that particular limb, the body limb wear will continue to accumulate and eventually result in an injury. There will be tiers of injuries, with tier 1 being the highest severity. Should a player sustain a tier 3 injury, they can no longer heal it to its optimal state. A med pen can heal the limb back to full health, but the limb will still be injured and require further medical attention. This injury, for example your arm, will exhibit different statuses such as a struggle to use or having a sway when holding a weapon. When a player suffers an injury, the injury to that limb will be illustrated in the UI element associated with the player's health. The UI element will be able to communicate the severity of the injury. Injuries cannot be resolved out on the field. Players will then need to go to medical facilities to address the injury. There are different classifications of medical facilities. There are tier 1, 2 and 3 with tier 1 facilities being the hospital which is the best facility that can deal with the more severe injuries. A tier 2 facility will be similar to the medical bay of the Anvil Carrick and a tier 3 facility will be more like the Cutlass Red. You will also have facilities of various tiers within the star system at space stations and major landing zones. Tier 1 facilities can heal all injuries while tier 2 facilities can heal 2 and tier 3 injuries and tier 3 facilities can only address tier 3 injuries. Injuries will affect how your character performs various activities based on the type of injury. In the near future, players will be able to use med pens on players, but it will not heal the injury. The multi-tool healing attachment will be an improved version of the med pen. It will not only allow you to heal someone, but it enables you to scan a person and to reveal any sustained injuries. With this new mechanic, they're introducing the down state of the player. In most scenarios when players would die, they now transition into the down state where they will be unconscious and slowly dying. This avails the opportunity for other players such as medics to retrieve and stabilize that person. When a player enters the down state, the player would have the option to die and respawn or wait for someone to come and heal them. But in the future, with the incoming death of a spaceman mechanic, dying will be the last option. But if a player receives enough damage, they will die instantly. When a player receives a tier 3 injury, someone can use a specific type of med pen to help address the symptoms. For example, if a player sustains an injury to the leg and cannot stand up due to severe pain, a medic can use a med pen that can minimize the pain temporarily. But if a player had a medical gun, he or she can scan the injured player, then choose the right combination of drugs to address the symptoms. The administered drug won't heal the patient, but will only temporarily remove the symptoms in order for the patient to get back on their feet. This player will need to go back to the medical facility to address the injuries. The player's flight suit will be able to monitor the status of the character. It will be able to monitor the amount of drugs within the blood of the character. 
the player will be able to see this information on their HUD. The medic will need to receive this information through scanning in order to determine the right amount of drugs to administer without overdosing the patient. These mechanics essentially introduces the healing profession. When a player dies and respawns, they will respawn in a medical facility. If the player dies within a major landing zone, they will have access to their gear they had on them. But if the player dies elsewhere, the gear will be still at the location and can be looted by other players. Players can only respawn at tier 1 and 2 medical beds. This new feature will impact everyone in the game, from bounty hunters to explorers to even miners. This mechanic will come in with physical inventory. Players will need to plan out their trips and bring what they need. Medical supplies will be critical. With the death of a spaceman mechanic, players will prefer the assistance of a medic as if you die out in space, your gear, equipment and loot will be out there for others to loot. Players and NPCs will eventually need a medic to lend a helping hand. Let me know your thoughts of the upcoming medical gameplay in the comments below. If there's anything in this video that you like, make sure to leave a like and if you haven't already, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.